Welcome to Playdates Episode 2. I'm Mark Maya. And I'm Brittany. And this is Board Game Coffee. Damn straight. Now, if you're new to the show, let me break it down for you. Playdates is a show about couples who game talking to couples who game, or couples who want to game, or people who want to be a gaming couple. I think that makes sense somewhat, no? <laughs> People who maybe want to get their spouse or partner into gaming. Yeah, or if you are a gaming couple and you're looking for tips to up your game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you might have noticed that we're in all in a bit of a, a lockdown and it's hard to get together with our other friends, either couple friends, single friends, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But one of the things we miss about being a gaming couple is gaming with other couples yeah. or gaming with our friends, right? Getting together, that those double date nights, right? Yeah, so now we, we want to do something that's still social while still practicing physical distancing. And that's where Tabletopia comes in. Yeah. Now, if you're not familiar with Tabletopia, Tabletopia is an online system where you can play digital versions of your favorite board games. And there's hundreds of them. And it's it's all free. Well, it's not all free. It's a large amount of it is free. And so if you see our table, we got some wingspan and some oceans. This isn't an episode about mashing those up, although that would that be- That would be cool. That would be cool. <laughs> this is just- a, a, These just, are some of the games we recently played on Tabletopia. What she said. And so <laughs> basically you can experience this on this or whatever your PC situation is, yeah. or Mac. With friends. <laughs> With friends. So, here's the thing. Tabletopia will allow you to play digital board games online with your friends, and if you combine that with Discord, or another um, video, video- platform, Zoom, Facebook Messenger, whatever you're comfortable with. You combine it with that, and you got yourself a good night, right? You break out a bottle of wine, mm -hmm. and you know, or, or, or whiskey, or beer, whatever your, whatever. your favorite beverage is. Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> Sit down, chill, and get ready for a nice, relaxing night of gaming. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna talk you through how this goes. So, first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to set yourself up with, as I mentioned, Discord or whatever uh, video platform. We're gonna use Discord as an example because that's what we've been using. Mm -hmm. So, set up a Discord account. Get your friends who are will be joining you to also set up a Discord account. And in our situation, we I have two monitors on my computer. Brittany doesn't, but she has a Surface and her computer. So mm -hmm. she uses her Surface to have her Discord on, and she plays on her regular computer monitor, where I have Discord on one monitor and Tabletopia mm -hmm. on the other. Mm -hmm. So Discord is great, because while you're while you have Discord and everybody signs up, have everybody meet up, make a room, mm -hmm. and invite everybody in, have them turn on their video cameras if they have them. Yeah, uh, and you don't need anything fancy as no. a camera. You can get it either right off your laptop and use the mic within your computer, or you know, have a little small webcam. It doesn't have to be. Like I, I do prefer when there is video, but if, I do too. If you don't have a video camera, then just the audio is fine. The audio is what's key, right? Mm -hmm. So we have it on here. So and if you only have one monitor. Like if you only have a little computer, then just have it running in the background. All you need is the audio. Just turn off your video. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Because the audio is key because you can get that same camaraderie, right? That chit chat that you get with your friends when you're at the table. You yeah. get that digitally. So once you have Discord set up, I, I would recommend if you're new to Tabletopia, uh, play a game that you're more familiar with. That way when you're teaching your guests when they show up, uh, they're not overwhelmed with the idea that, because they, they have to learn this whole new digital media mm -hmm. or digital version of the gaming, right? And, mm -hmm. and it is different because everybody can't help but, you know, I'm going to pick up this fish and I'm going <laughs> to put it over there. I'm going to pick this card up and flip it. I'm going to do Because they're going to do that because it's new. And it's cool. And you can't help but like pick things up like, and move around. <laughs> and, and you can because here's the thing about Tabletopia. Tabletopia is just like having the game set up on the table in front of you. It automates, other than the setup, it doesn't automate anything yep. for you. So you Which can- Which I like that aspect of it, personally, because it feels like you're you're playing a board game. It, it, it doesn't track the score for you. Nope. It doesn't move the pieces for you. It lets you do illegal moves, <laughs> right? Like it's so you can make the same mistakes that you can on the table. You can accidentally knock over your, your um, player board which yeah. I've done a couple times. So you <laughs> you can do things like that, but once you get used to it, you don't get a lot of those. No. You, you'll you'll, you'll get used will, to it really fast. People will get comfortable with the situation. Now, we do have Oceans and, and Wingspan here because those are the games we've been playing the most and recently. most recently. Um, and they're, they're great. There are lots of games on there though. Yeah, there's like hundreds of games on Tabletopia. Mm -hmm. um, so what's great about this is now, picture this, right? 
you got Tabletopia in front of you, you got, say, Wingspan or Oceans. You're, you're playing it in front of you and you got your Discord here and you got your video friends. And then you're teaching them and once you start getting to the game, you're, you're drinking, you're having laughs, you're playing. It's just like, well, it's not just like, but it's, it's the similar. next it's the next best thing to having them here. And then you have your date night. You have your adult board game group date night. Your and it's, snacks. And it feels <laughs> great, right? Yeah, it does. And good thing is, as, as an adult, you can drink as much as you want and not worry about having to take a cab home. <laughs> you, you can just, it's total, just chill. And you don't have to get dressed up. You can be in your PJs, mm -hmm. right? That, that's it. That's, we're always in our just jam jams. <laughs> just, <laughs> our cuppies. <laughs> just chilling. Which I think everybody is right now. <laughs> yeah, so... Well, so let's talk about the premium versus oh yeah. non. It's a good one. So here's the thing about Tabletopia. It is free, and there's hundreds of games that you can play free, but there is a premium option, which is only a few dollars a month. It's like nine dollars a month Canadian or something like that. So it would be like six dollars US or a, a, a dollar or a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> so, Just kidding, it's not that. Um, we don't actually know what the price it's, is. It's it's but it's not expensive. And here's the thing with premium accounts: once you have a premium account, you'll have access to certain games that are locked behind that premium uh, membership, and. Oceans isn't. Oceans you can play without the premium membership, but Wingspan you do need a premium membership. As of right now when this video is made. Yeah, you do need a premium membership to play Wingspan. But here's the thing. If one person, like if you're playing a double date, so it's me and Brittany again with our two other friends that were that mm -hmm. are online, as long as one of us has a premium account, everybody takes advantage of that. So everybody can play. It's not like everybody has to have a premium account. Only one person needs to have it. Mm -hmm. As long as they're hosting the game, so as long as I can host Wingspan, Brittany can't because she doesn't have a premium account, yep. but I do. So I host it and everybody takes advantage of that. Mm -hmm. And another thing about premium accounts is there are certain games, even though they're free to play, there are a pl there is a player cap. So some games might only allow you to play two player or three player uh, if you don't have a premium account. So yeah. you need the premium account to increase that. And the thing is too, it's not like a yearly membership. It's a monthly membership. So you can just sign up for a month and cancel. Mm -hmm. And really, if you're paying like six or nine dollars for a, an evening out with your buddies to just like sit and play games, it's worth it. It's mm -hmm. so worth right, it. You could split on it all. Yeah, you yeah, could. A couple could split on the monthly fee. If Every, you put, everybody puts in two bucks or whatever. Like yeah. it's, but it's yeah, the cost is is minimal considering how much they offer mm -hmm. on that yeah, site. Yeah, I agree. Now there are other options that you can try out there's other than tabletopia there is board game arena now we're not going to go too much into that because this episode is focused on tabletopia. tabletopia and that's what we've experienced the most uh but board game arena if you don't like the the fact that there is no automation in tabletopia board game arena does have that although it's not as pretty it kind of looks like a bunch of flat jpegs um of the board glued onto Windows 95, uh, but it, it is functional. It is very functional. So for your more complex games, it actually helps, right? Because in Board Game Arena, they stop you from like, you can't do, they only basically allow you to do what you're allowed to do. Mm -hmm. Like all your available actions are the only things you can mess with. So unlike um, Tabletopia, you can't just pick up a card and be like, which you can do in Tabletopia, but not in Board Game Arena. <laughs> And the bonuses in Board Game Arena, they also um, tally your score for you as you play, which is, is nice. It is nice, yeah. Okay, so Brittany, let's let's wrap this up with, as far as our Tabletopia digital board gaming experience with our friends, what do you think? I have been really enjoying it. I think the just the video call and being able to laugh online and kind of learn through a different experience um, together with some friends is really fun. Like I've, I've really enjoyed our nights. I, I enjoy that I can trash talk them. That's the important part about the, the, the audio, right? Cause it's, That's it's not as, it's not as cool to trash talk when you do text. You, you can see the reaction when you've screwed them over in a game, which is kind of funny. Yeah. So <laughs> um, it, it's, it's good laughs. It almost makes you feel like everything's back to normal. Mind you, this doesn't take the place of, like Tabletopy does not take the place of actually being at a table, actually being able to touch things and 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 touch people. No, and you know, communicate with people. It doesn't take the place of that, no. but it's the next best thing that we have right now. So I'd highly recommend it. If you're looking for a date night to get together with friends, try Tabletopia. Try it tonight, it's free, it won't cost you anything. Just play one of the free games. Mm -hmm. and, and, that's, and that's it. And we would love to know, like, are you playing Tabletopia right now or any online game? If you are, what kind of games are you playing? Ooh, yeah. Let us know in the comments. Recommendations. Below. Recommendations, yeah, let please. Us know. All right. See ya. That is it for this episode of Play Dates. See you for episode three in about what, two weeks. Yeah, we'll see you in two weeks. <laughs> Ciao. Bye.